Sixth grade, unit one, lesson 17, squares and cubes. Number one, what is the volume of this cube? There's four cubes on top and four cubes on the bottom for a total of eight cubes. The volume is eight cubic centimeters. A cube is three dimensional. This cube is two centimeters tall, two centimeters wide, and two centimeters long. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. The volume of this cube is 8 centimeters to the power of 3 or 8 centimeters cubed. Number 2. Decide if each number on the list is a perfect square. A perfect square is the product of a whole number multiplied by itself. For example, 1 times 1 equals 1. That would be a perfect square. 2 times 2 equals 4. That would be a perfect square. And so forth. A. 16. 4 times 4 equals 16. A. 16 is a perfect square. C. 25. 5 times 5 equals 25. C. 25 is a perfect square. D. 100. 10 times 10 equals 100. D. 100 is a perfect square. F. 144. 12 times 12 equals 144. F. 144 is a perfect square. G. 225. 15 times 15 is 225. G, 225, is a perfect square. H, 10,000. 100 times 100 equals 10,000. H, 10,000, is a perfect square. B, 20, is not a perfect square because no whole number times itself equals 20. And E, 125, is also not a perfect square because no whole number times itself equals 125. B. Write a sentence that explains your reasoning. Multiply a whole number by itself to find a perfect square. Here's a few examples of perfect squares. 1 times 1. 1 times 1 equals 1, so that's a perfect square. 2 times 2. 2 times 2 equals 4, so 4 is a perfect square. 3 times 3 equals 9. 9 is a perfect square. 4 times 4 equals 16. So 16 is a perfect square. 20 is not a perfect square. And here's some examples why 20 is not a perfect square. 1 times 20 does not form a square. 2 times 10 does not form a perfect square. And 4 times 5 does not form a perfect square. This decimal is obviously not a whole number. And this decimal times itself equals 20. And that's proof that 20 is not a perfect square. Here's a close look at the side lengths of this square. It's not a whole number. It's a decimal. Since the side lengths are not whole numbers, it does not form a perfect square. Number 3. A. Decide if each number on the list is a perfect cube. Cubes are three-dimensional. They have a height, a width, and a length. A height of 1, a length of 1, and a width of 1 would be 1 times 1 times 1, and that equals 1 perfect cube, 1 cubic unit, or 1 unit to the third power. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8, so C, 8, would be a perfect cube. This cube is 2 units wide, 2 units long, and 2 units tall. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 cubic units. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. So 27 is a perfect cube. 4 times 4 times 4 
equals 64. So 64 is also a perfect cube. 5 times 5 times 5 equals 125. So 125 is also a perfect cube. 3, 9, and 100 are not perfect cubes because there's no whole number that can be multiplied times itself that would have the result of either 3, 9, or 100. B. Explain what a perfect cube is. Multiply a whole number by itself three times to find a perfect cube. Number 4. A. A square has a side length of 4 centimeters. What is its area? Here's an illustration of a square that has side lengths of 4 centimeters. 4 centimeters times 4 centimeters equals 16 square centimeters. B. The area of a square is 49 meters squared. What is its side length? Here's an illustration of 49 meters squared. If you look across the top, you can see that the top side length is 7 meters. Since it's a square, all the side lengths will be 7 meters. C. A cube has edge length 3 inches. What is its volume? Here's an illustration of a cube that has edge length 3 inches. 3 times 3 times 3 equals 27. The volume of this cube is 27 cubic inches or 27 inches cubed, which is the same as 27 inches to the third power. Number 5. Prism A and Prism B are rectangular prisms. Prism A is 3 inches by 2 inches by 1 inch. Prism B is 1 inch by 1 inch by 6 inches. Select all statements that are true about the two prisms. Prism A is 3 by 2 by 1. So the volume of prism A is 3 times 2 times 1 which is 6. The volume of figure A is 6 cubic inches. The area of prism A is 22 square inches. Figure B is 1 by 1 by 6 or 1 times 1 times 6. So the volume of figure B is 6 cubic inches. The area of figure B is 26 square inches. Prism A has a volume of 6 inches cubed and an area of 21 inches squared. Prism B has a volume of 6 inches cubed and an area of 26 inches squared. A. They have the same volume. Well their volume are both 6 inches cubed. So that's true. They have the same volume. B. They have the same number of faces. They have a front, a back, a top, a bottom, a left, and a right. That's six faces. So that's true. They both have the same number of faces. C. More inch cubes can be packed into prism A than into prism B. That's not true because they have the same volume. The same number of cubes could be packed into prism A as into prism B. D. The two prisms have the same surface area. That's not true because prism A has a surface area of 22 inches squared and prism B has a surface area of 26 inches squared. E. The surface area of prism B is greater than that of prism A. The surface area of prism B is 26 inches squared which is larger or greater than the surface area for prism A which is only 22 inches squared. 
Number 6. A. What polyhedron can be assembled from this net? A triangular prism. B. What information would you need to find its surface area? Be specific and label the diagram as needed. You can see I've labeled the bottom, the front, the back, the right side, and the left side. One important piece of information you'd need would be the height of the triangle and the length of the base of the triangle. You'd also need to know the height and the base of the three other faces that make up this polyhedron. Number 7. Find the surface area of this triangular prism. All measurements are in meters. The height of the triangular faces are 8 tenths of a meter and the length of the bases of the triangular faces are 1 and 2 tenths meters. The area would be half of 8 tenths times 1 and 2 tenths or 48 hundredths square meters. Since 1 and 2 tenths times 1 equals 1 and 2 tenths, the area of each of these faces is 1 and 2 tenths. And finally the last face, that's 1 and 2 tenths times 1 and 2 tenths or 1 and 44 hundredths. We can find the total surface area of this triangular prism by adding up all the areas of the faces. The surface area is 4 and 8 tenths square meters.